Hi everyone, Agnes here and success story from Mariana. Goes like this. I have lived in the projects under horrible conditions for what had been most of my life. I grew up in them in Puerto Rico and ended up in another one in the Bronx in New York. I lived there for over 20 years and even th though those terrible conditions never ceased, I could never seem to be able to move out. There was never enough money. Uh, it wasn't affordable, I couldn't do it and I was not worthy of living in a regular apartment. One day I told my specific person that I had to break the cycle, that I understood that it was a mental cycle that was keeping me there. That was keeping me in the roach infested, mold filled space. So remember that my first step was to revise and I did Ho'oponopono for it. I started writing affirmations down and searching for apartments. Everything was out of my budget and I tried to drown out these thoughts that told me that I could never find something in New York that I could pay. So I kept searching and became frustrated a couple of times, but I kept going. I hired a realtor that showed me some apartments and I found the one. It was super affordable. It seemed even unreal that I could find something so cheap. My SP thought it was an upgrade, but not in the best area, but I didn't care. My credit was beyond perfect and that apartment was mine. I started packing in anticipation and kept telling everyone that there was no way that they would deny me. My paperwork was perfect. Where attention goes, energy flows. I focused so much on they couldn't deny me that they did. Oh, I cried and cried. How could this have happened? I'd visualized myself there and it had everything I wanted. I went back to my affirmations and they were not doing it for me. I remember mentioning it to my friend Anita and she gave me the simple, I remember when I used to live in the projects. Look at how wonderful my new apartment is and I'm thankful and grateful now that I have my perfect apartment. Less than a week later an apartment posted on a Sunday evening by Monday the next day I had already seen it and I got it approved by Wednesday. I got all brand new appliances, the apartment was fully renovated and it had windows and tons of natural light, all as I had wanted. This apartment is beautiful and I am so grateful. <laughs> Marianne, I'm wondering as I read that, was the second apartment, the one that you got, even better than the one you missed out on? Just put a comment down in the threads. Number two manifestation. I have something amazing to share. I have a very loving cousin who unfortunately had been in jail for many years over something stupid. He calls me frequently and I decided to start to teach him a bit about Neville. I started to listen as if I heard him telling me that he was going home. When I would remember, I would do it. Then I proceeded to tell him that from now on when he calls me, he's not calling me from jail but from the Dominican Republic. I asked him, think about what you would do what you would see, what you would feel. You are in Barbados. Then as I learned more about the revision tool of Ho'oponopono, I decided to clean for him yesterday. Today he called me that he is going home. Oh my god, I'm still in somewhat in shock. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay, Manifestation number three, I have a work manifestation to share using the law of assumption and the power of the subconscious mind. A couple of months ago, I got laid off and it took a couple of calls with my friend Sean and a couple of Agnes's manifesting a job technique to calm me down. I believe in affirmations and the power of assumption, so I started there. I started writing assumptions every day, over and over. Some days were better than others, but I knew that it all took was for my subconscious to accept the new ideas, so I kept on. But nothing seemed to be happening for a while. It seemed it needed more watering. I started scripting the things I would like in a new job. Didn't even finish. When reading You Can Heal Your Life, I came across I Am Safe. And around the same time, Sean told me, don't keep score, just focus on feeling good. So I did that. I am safe. I am safe. 
I am worthy, I am worthy, I am wanted, I am wanted. Because every time I would get a no, it would make me feel so unwanted. I am wanted over and over and over. Then one day I got offered a job. It started, I started it, but something feels off. This is not what I scripted. I wanted at all. I turned it down. I thought this is a birds before land. I'll put that YouTube down below as to what that means for those of you that are new. Within that same week to turn of turning it down, I got called for interviews for three jobs. Two I have basically hired me at the same time and I picked the one that matched entirely what I had scripted. As soon as I walked in, I said, this is it. And I got the job offer today to prove it, making more money than I have ever made before. So excited. <laughs> Beautiful. Number four. I have an amazing manifestation that I would love to share. I got back from a vacation with my specific person. It was the most amazing and loving experience of my life. And what's even more mind blowing is the fact that I imagined it all before it came forth. When you occupy the state, you will be taken through a series of events leading to your manifestation. He didn't have a passport. He couldn't afford it. I was working, had never traveled with a boyfriend. So many things aligned themselves for this to happen. It was beautiful. Learn to believe in your imaginal scenes. Revise or do Ho'oponopono and radiate love. You are love. You are powerful beyond measure. You are God and everything and everyone is part of your universe. Our plane coming back hit a patch of turbulence and a lot of people, including my SP, were scared. Not me. I found my center and sent love to the plane. Visualized those clouds parting ways for us and told the plane, steady. Seconds later, the plane became steady and stopped shaking. <laughs> Lovely, Mariana. That's beautiful. Now, I know this is a six session over some years, but it's absolutely lovely. Now, um, Mariana has been doing some really good work and getting results from EFT. So she has linked some specific sessions that she's using. I will put those links down below for those of you that want to go and explore EFT. Um, I don't talk about EFT on the channel. Why? Because it's a very specialized area and I think you need to be really an expert on that to really do it justice. So I do think it's a wonderful practice and I do think it's a wonderful uh, technique. For those of you that want to release stuff, this is something else you can look at. I will put the links to those YouTubes Mariana uses and has had some good success with. So, lovely story. Thanks, Mariana. Lots of love. And I will put down in the description below, Mariana and I, I actually read her uh, story, another story of hers, and I'll put the link to that YouTube for those of you that want to revisit it. So, thank you. Lots of love and I will see all of you as always in the next YouTube.